So what are the major differences between John Deere's new P-Series compact track loader and John Deere's previous G-Series compact track loader? Now, if I was a salesman, the upgrades I would probably tell you about would be our new premium monitoring system, our optional smart grade 5G touchscreen monitor, our optional 270 degree camera system. But I'm a technician, so I'm gonna tell you about three of the more functional upgrades that I feel that the P-Series, large frame P's have over the G-Series. So the first big change, which I feel is huge, is the pivot pins for the bucket coupler down here. In the past, John Deere has always used a tapered pin that fits tightly into, the, into a boss in the end of the boom. But we've developed an issue with the large frame G machines where we're finally, on a 333G, we're just putting too much torque to the ground for that pin to hold up. So what would usually happen over time is things would wear and the bolt and pin would loosen up and then that taper would get loose and wear into the boss on the end of the boom. And when that would happen, this boss would actually have to be cut out of the end of the boom and a new one welded into place. So with the new P-Series, we finally went to a straight pin, flag pin that just bolts on here on the end. With the new P-Series, we upped the horsepower, made a new one with even more horsepower. So we had to do something different. And this is a change that I felt Deer really should have made and think it's one of the best ones on the machine. So the next biggest change I feel on the P-Series machine is we went to a closed center hydraulic system on the large frame P-Series track loaders over the open center system we've always had on the previous machines. With this closed center hydraulic system, you get more of an on-demand uh, priority circuit. So if you are uh, in, in a situation where maybe you've got a high flow mower on the front, and you're in some thick brush and you're dragging it down, the dragging the engine down and the hydraulic system down, but you still need to raise the boom or, or tilt the bucket back, you're still gonna be able to do that where we may have struggled in the past. And when you couple this new closed center hydraulic system with our optional premium monitoring system with touch screen with the attachment manager function, you're now able to go in and name attachments and choose different options for them, whether they're high flow, whether they need a higher pressure or lower pressure, you can adjust the amount of flow going to the attachment, what functions need to come on and off when that attachment is hooked up. With our new premium touchscreen monitoring system that comes standard in the 335P and optional in our 333P, we can now go in and create a new attachment. For this, I'd already set up a mulching head that we'll use. And we can go ahead and adjust the flow rate on it. Change the joystick layout, change the auxiliary direction, switch it to high flow, switch it to higher pressure. Set our creep limit so we can only travel at 50% speed. Turn our ride control on automatically. So that now every time you select this attachment, these things will, these functions will happen. A view of our 270 degree camera system that you can put full screen from the rear or split screen for all the way around. Our G5 monitor display for our slope control and smart grade functions is also touch screen and can be easily adjusted.
So with the new P-Series, the footwell now when you raise the cab comes up with the cab, whereas with the old G-Series, you had to pull it out manually, which as your back gets older like mine, becomes a chore. So the bucket coupler hinge pins, the advanced closed center hydraulic system, and the fact that you can now lift up the cab without having to also go in and pick up the foot tub after you're done are what I feel are three of the biggest functional changes in the P-Series over the G-Series. So if you got any more questions or want to see one, come to any one of our five Reynolds Central Indiana locations and talk to somebody.